<laughs> She's sharp. Okay, I'll show you. A before and after. This is a stock, this is a factory Oregon grind, square ground. You can see it's a little damaged. See that corner's knocked off? Yeah. And then this is what it looks like. After the grind, no more knocked off corner. Okay, this isn't a this isn't a how-to video. <clears throat> if you're wondering, <laughs> this is a. Uh, this is uh, <clears throat> this is a square jig. From uh, Square Cutter. The YouTube channel Square Cutter. Ed, this 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 thing is it's awesome. It's it's simply awesome. For somebody that wants to get into square grinding and doesn't want to spend 1500 bucks or you know unless you find a used one for a thousand if you're lucky a Symington or whatever you know this 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 square jig it works it works and I'm, I'm sharpening up this chain and I'm gonna go cut a stump off with it to see how well it works on a stump it's a residential uh, Douglas fir stump it's fairly hard Wow. So we're gonna we're gonna see how we're gonna see how it cuts. This is the first full chain that I've ground with it. It doesn't take very long. Big thing is you know, like anything else is is the uh, the stone, you know, your setup. And if you if you blow your chain off after you take it off, if you blow it off with I just blew this off with compressed air. I didn't spray it with degreaser or nothing like that. I just blew it off and I dressed each side of the wheel before I did each side of the chain and never had to never had to redress nothing. Granted, this is a semi skip chisel tooth. square ground I don't know why my focus won't work on this side it's terrible it's terrible terrible I tell you <laughs> but anyway you saw the tooth before and you saw the after so that's what that's what matters So we're going to go see how it cuts. Hope you're all having an awesome day. I am. <laughs> all right. We got that chain on the 500i. And we're going to go cut that stump off. Oh, yeah. We'll see how it works. We'll see how well that. My first full chain grind is with the square jig. If you want to, if you want to check it out, go to squarejig.com. If you want to see how it works, Ed does great videos on on all the different parts of it, and he's growing growing his channel. If you guys could, if everybody could, please go over and subscribe to its Square Cutter on YouTube. Go check it out. This is it. It's 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 awesome. It's awesome. It's going to take some fine tuning, of course, but I'm ready for it. I'm ready to do it. I'm ready to do something a little bit different. 
and see how it works mainly for falling but if we get if i get good enough at it it should work for both right oh yeah and i'll be trying it on different saws i just did this one up because it's that semi skip and it's on the 500 it's 91 drivers so we're gonna go for it seven pin sprocket we're just gonna go for it we're going straight for the stump we'll see you there <laughs> say that it does pretty good pretty good it's gonna work good on the stump that's for sure get the following I had to walk back over here to the stump just to uh, just to share a little bit of this oh yeah 
It's old Johnny Arnett, the old pitch farmer. Pitch still coming out of it, Johnny, but look at this. Yeah, Johnny, all those lines, they're pitch, buddy. It's all pitch. It's all, it's all Johnny Arnett pitch. Yeah, I think it works pretty good. Got some pretty good chips in there. Got some long stringers. Some longer stringers, but they're all they're all great chips. Look at that pile of chips. Oh yeah. That's that's gonna work. For sure. Thanks, Ed. Appreciate it, buddy. It's kind of fun grinding chain. <laughs> and like I said, we got we got room to grow. We're always room to improve, right? Different angles, things like that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I think I might need to uh, do me up full house for the uh, for the five hundred I. I'm gonna do up a full house and see how it, see what it does. See if it'll put more load on on the uh, on the saw. Because in the cut, it it will probably uh, what I've learned so far with that saw is that the the eight pin and the more aggressive chain takes away that four stroke a lot faster. It loads the saw faster in the wood. But as far as on the stump, it works great. That that semi skip works great for falling. It's going to work really well for falling with that grind on there. We'll play around with it some more. It'll be fun. It'll be a great experience for uh, for everybody. I hope. I hope you all have an awesome day. And thanks everybody that came to Tazapalooza. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the kindness that came with it. All the respect and all of the uh, just just the whole thing it was awesome I appreciate all of you and everybody that put in that everybody that supported whether it be comments or anything like that it all helps and it all helped pay for Tazapalooza one way shape or form it helped I love you all take care and be safe Tazman is rolling. Be kind.